Welcome everybody to Dragout Town. This is going to be a Blade and Sorcery mod tutorial. It has been requested on my other Blade and Sorcery videos. You can see those cards right in the top right. Um, people have been asking about mods, how to install mods, where to get some mods, download links for mods. So, let me just help you out. So basically what you need is Vortex. Vortex is a program that will install the mods for you and it's super easy couple steps to download blah 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 all right so basically what you need to do is go to the link in the description uh nexusmods.com slash about slash vortex it's a download page for the program that you need but in order to download it you need to be registered and logged in go ahead and make your account and log into it and come to this page so you see that we're logged in, so you want to go down to here and click download the latest version now. So click that. You'll be greeted with a page that looks like this, and all you have to do is just go down to the main files. So download, um, and yeah, right, so I don't know what this crap is. They never had this before, just do slow download. Okay. All right, sorry, that confused me. The, this They updated their site, so it's like weird now. I like the old way better. All right, now that it's downloaded, you want to install it. Wow, look how fast that is. So intense. Whoa, 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 uh, oh. All right, so now that you have it downloaded, it should automatically open. And if it doesn't open, you'd, you'd be able to access it through the start menu, through Vortex, or you could search. The search bar vortex and it should show up all right perfect now what you'll do next is log in if you click log in it'll automatically uh connect it with your uh browser and you just have to click the authorize button so we go to games and we got no managed games haha <laughs> so we want to add blade and sorcery so we just scroll down click the plus sign and I actually we don't need to do that. Just click manage. There we go. Now it's in our little thing. Now we need to add mods to it. So now let's get some mods, shall we? So this is the Blade and Sorcery directory. Link in the description if you don't want to fucking fight with this goddamn website searching for it. So Unity 7 is the one that's currently out. So um, we're going to go to popular of all time. Yeah, there it is. So this is the Outer Rim. This is like a super ultra mega Jedi Star Wars pack. It's got lightsabers. It's got tools to change your color for your saber. It's freaking dope. It's got everything. It's got helmets and shit. So basically, all you'd have to do is click Vortex. Or you can go down to Files. Either way, it'll just send you to the same place. We just click uh, Slow Download something will pop up at the top open vortex yes let the application open the mod all right so now it's downloading into the nexus all right after seven years of waiting for it to download all you have to do is either click the install button to install the mod or you can go to the mods menu right here on the left hand side and you could see which mods um that you have listed. What you want to do is you want to enable the mod and it'll automatically install it. And um, once that's done, the mod should just be ready to go. Let's go see if the lightsaber mod works. All right. So, oh, there they are. Lightsabers. All right. As you can see, the mod has worked. And now you have access to all the badass Star Wars action. Whoa. Okay, so that's how to install mods through the Vortex Mod Manager. Now, there's going to be mods where there's going to be absolutely no, like, Mod Manager support, and the only thing that you'll have access to is a manual folder download. So for this grappling hook mod that we're going to do, um, we're not going to use the Vortex side, we're just going to do the manual download. So I could show you guys exactly um, how to install it. Uh manually without mod manager all right so you're going to open up your um mod so this is what's going to be inside so we want to drag the folder into the streaming assets folder 
Yeah, it's located inside of your program files wherever you install your Steam games at. So basically all we would have to do is drag the mod that we would want to install manually into the streaming assets folder. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. There it is. It's under miscellaneous. There we go. We got it. Whoa! What the? I guess I can demonstrate a little bit of what it's capable of since I'm here. Uh, let's say we like Kylo's lightsaber, but we hate the fucking color, so we're gonna change it to goddamn yellow. What lights? What kind of lightsaber is this shit? Black core? Uh, if you guys know what this black core yellow lightsaber belongs to, like what character, be sure to comment down below. Um, so yeah, I hope that this helped you with your problems. Be sure to uh, like the video, subscribe for epic gaming content. I make VR videos and other gaming videos. I live stream a lot. So I appreciate it. I hope this helped you. And hell yeah.